Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com, and in this Lightroom 4 preset system mixology tutorial, we're going to do a toy camera effect. And there's so many different effects you guys can do, but this is going to be a toy camera effect you guys can kind of customize to your liking. And we're going to do it because we haven't done it yet. So let's get started. Now, first thing we're going to do is we have this image loaded up. We actually use this image in one of the prior tutorials, and I've reset it to the standard import preset. So be sure to select that now if you haven't. And uh, with whatever image you're looking, just select an image that's going to look cool as a toy camera effect. Now, what we're going to do is go down to our base adjustments. First thing we're going to do is, I'm not going to touch the exposure, but I do want to flatten out the dynamic range just for the highlights on the skin. We're going to soften detail a little bit because this is a toy camera effect and we shouldn't have super strong details. We're also going to do a light fade to the contrast because we're going to boost contrast in a second using a different setting. We're also going to set, let's do let's do a heavy vignette. Well, actually, let's do a medium vignette, and then we'll come back and revisit if we need to. All right, so from there, we're good. Now we're going to drop down to our curves. Let's select a curve that we want to select. I'm going to select a, let's do a neutral punch, and we'll do, let's see, what do we want? Do we want amber, apricot? I'm going to select a warm cross for our neutral punch. That looks cool right there, but you guys can select really whatever you want. Of course, it's going to affect the name of this preset because if you don't do the same thing that we're doing, you're going to get a little different look and it's going to affect whatever you name it. Let's go into the special effects now and we're almost done. What we're going to do now is I want to apply actually this uh, slide edge burn just to kind of create that slide film edge to it. Um, and it mixes really nicely with our vignette above. And what I might do is just turn that vignette up to a max. Let's go to heavy vignetting. That way it kind of darkens those edges just a little bit more. Now let's go back to our special effects. And what we're going to do is we're going to add, you guys can choose what level of film grain, but I'm going to add heavy film grain. And then we're going to do heavy edge softening. And this is going to kind of create that softened edge blur on the edge of the, the image. Um, and what I might, actually I want to keep that where it was. What I want to do is adjust my film grain. I'm going to see if I like the medium or if I like the heavy better. And I think I'm going to go with the heavy actually. All right, guys, so a few clicks, 30 seconds, however long it took. Not that long. We get from this to this. And uh, let's save this out. We're going to call this 07. We'll call it the uh, warm toy camera. Or let's call it the uh, slide film. It's the warm slide film toy camera. A little more descriptive. Again, I'm leaving things like temperature and stuff as shot because really you want to adjust those on an image per image basis. But let's try this out on another image that might look cool. And we're going to do it on this one because it's a funny looking image. And our lovely bride here is making a funny face, which I think might work just fine for this shot. Let's go slide film toy camera effect. And we get that cool effect with our blurred out edges. And if we want to, this is the cool part, guys, is we've designed this whole system in kind of that layer format. So if you want to just change the color, you can do that easily just by selecting a different curve. So let's say if we wanted to select a neutral curve, we can select a bright neutral cross um, or a, say, desaturated neutral wash. Whatever you guys want to select for that curve, you guys can do so and make it look very, very different from what you had previously. All right, guys, but this is how it looks from here. Now, just a brief warning. Um, this is a kind of an issue with Lightroom itself. Whenever you have these uh, graduate filters applied on the edges, which is what that slide, uh, or which is what that kind of softening effect is doing, if you go and you click Standard Import Reset, um, it resets everything except for that graduating filter, um, which is softening those edges, and you can see it now. So just know that this is a bug with Lightroom. To actually get that gone, you need to either reset the actual uh, image by hitting Control-Shift-R or Command-Shift-R on a Mac, or you can just go over here and you can uh, select the graduate filters and just click on Reset right here, and it'll reset all of them as well. All right, guys, that's just a heads up for you guys. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. We made our nice, warm, slide-filmed toy camera effect in just a few clicks. We can turn any image into this awesome look. So we'll see you guys with the next Mixology tutorial.